don't listen to crap. Those are crap. Most of people on this app are also mentally ill. Mental illness is just is the new outbreak. I don't know whether it was brought with this COVID-19 injection. Especially, particularly this 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 app. Internet can also drain your mind. You go and scroll and look at people's lives. People invested. Some of us invested like 20 years ago. You cannot compete with me. 20 years ago, you were in school. Learn to walk the journey of success. I was invest. Someone asked. Anapata hii pesa wapi? Yote wapi? Pesa gani? I invested 20 years ago. This house is almost 15 years. Darling. This house is 15 years old. I was on the street at the age of 14. Busy struggling. Where were you when I was 14? Probably you were never born. Some of you are at the age of my daughters. You can't start asking at the age of 21. Where did I get all this money? Excuse me? You're not doing yourself good you are giving yourself stress just learn a few things from me like work out to keep you fit at 20 so that you don't lose your focus number one number two learn my work ethics discipline don't start asking how did akode make that money where were you when i was making that money where were you 14 years ago? The moment you want to feel jealous and you want to type something negative about me, just remember, Akode asked me one question. Where was I in 2009 when she was building her mansion in Mombasa? Then you will have your answers correct. Stop giving yourself pressure. Stop. Again, you don't have an idea where people are getting their money. Some are getting their money straight. Some are getting their money through conning other people. Some are getting their money from the inherited, the inherited from their parents. Some are, so stop asking how someone made her money. Start understanding how you can make your life better and how you can make your own money in your own small way. Okay? So just take this one home and just know that I love you. Imagine if I start asking myself how Bill Gates made his money. Am I mad? If I started asking how Bill Gates made his money, I wouldn't have made even an eighth of what he has. So, you see, in 2009, you were in standard seven. I was already have, owning a swimming pool. In 2009, you were in standard seven. I was already swimming in money. I already visited Europe seven, seven, eight, ten, twenty times. I already have a passport and visas. I already nilikuwa shazam mtoto wa kizungu. You are in class seven. My blood group is B positive. Two or nine, we didn't even have, we didn't even have an Android phone. Two or nine, did we? I need to think. No idea. You are in 35. Someone did KCSE in 209. Someone was in class 5. Nikwa nisha nimesha pigwa character development. In 209 nisha pigwa character de de development na baby daddy wa kizungu. 209 nikwa nisha tupwa inje ya Switzerland. Nine months pregnant. As you also ask how I achieved in life, equally ask how I battled and jumped over the hurdles of life and how I pulled myself with my own strap from the ditch of poverty, discrimination, humiliation, and laughter. To Kosote. Before you ask about question about my wealth, what I have and what I don't, think, think. You can do it. I did it. You can do it. I still went back to school and achieved my degree. Right now, I've started again battling and struggling with my, my, my MBA. Can you imagine? 
compete with all these people making noise. You, you've seen how many women came from, you know, from a, who went to abroad years back and now they've come to Kenya trying to, you know, it's now when they're trying to collect themselves, trying to invest here, there. This, this, you know, the, don't, don't buy anything online. Don't. They'll break your head for nothing. Just do you at your own time. And don't post all your process of achievement on social media. Post the results. We have online witches here. People are kneeling down every day telling God to bring you down. That's why God can't bless them because God does not know if he should bless them or curse you. Which one is which? Which one is which? People are posting people's houses. People are posting people's cars. And then that one alone will make you lock yourself. You have not done nothing. You've done well for yourself for even buying an Android phone to be able to be on the internet. Causing you sleepless nights. Those people, after they've switched off their cameras, they can't even sleep. They are on sleeping pills. They cause you sleepless nights. You are causing yourself trouble because you continue, you are constantly uh, comparing yourself to people you've never met in real life. You've never... Who has the benchmark of success? Who has the benchmark of success? And who told you you are not successful? Who told you you are not successful? Because you are comparing yourself to the wannabes on social media. And I want to be honest to you today. Very few celebrities are living a real life. Let me be honest to you. Three quarters of them are chasing clouds. And it has turned the minds of our children into something that is not fiction. Movies. Episodes. And you think they are doing much more better than you. Some of you are living a better life than some celebrities. Internationally. Be happy with where you are, with who you are. Be happy that you are alive. Some people are, you know, negotiating between buying prescription drugs. Be happy you are healthy. Health is wealth. Because you will achieve everything you need. But only if you have a vision and a mission and discipline, working daily to be a better person than the person you were yesterday. If you are a better person, you will pour out bitterness and it is all over your face. So the aura you bring into the room is always negative because you are a negative person. You can't get negative from positive. Those are completely two different worlds like day and night classmate not to we all have different times of breakthrough nobody say you're gonna get your breakthrough at 10 at 20 at 30 at 40 could be your breakthrough will come at the age of 60 it's still okay everyone is saying that money is devilish money is satanic but God built someone says that uh, the rich will never go to heaven but God is the owner of all the riches and wealth in the world God created Adam and Eve and placed them in the, um, in the garden, uh, garden of Eden where there were apples and everything, animals and everything. Why do you think that being rich is satanic? And who told you a poor is pure? Who told you? Do you know there are poor people who are malicious, jealous, envious, uh, satanic? Why won't rich people go to heaven? Is it because when media just get something small negative about rich people, that's what they talk about every time because, um, uh, you know, because, uh, call it what, um, misery loves company. Misery loves company. And do you know why those who are making noise on social media, uh, you know, calling people names, scrutinizing people's lives, have a lot of viewers because misery loves company. Some things I can't listen to on this app. Women bringing other women down. And you are there busy clapping and you are a woman. You are also down like them. It's only a woman who is at the bottom who would like to see other women coming to her level. Otherwise, if you are at the top, 
the top the air is very you know the air is very thin at the top you are breathing it on your own so work your way to the top because it's only at the bottom that is crowded you just open the air you, you think there are some chicken who has been released then you go like oh my goodness these are women but I don't judge them it's because they are empty they never fix the little broken girl in them those are little girls who are, who are broken and those are little girls in the name of a woman they are very broken and avoid them because they will break you too do not start a relationship with someone who is not in a relationship with themselves don't they will break you they are not self-aware they don't have an attachment with them you ask hey why is my sister hurting me like this because they are broken they might not even be aware that they are breaking you because they are broken keep off do something important with your life go on youtube and search motivational speakers who can speak to you don't listen to crap those are crap most of people on this app are also mentally ill mental illness is just is the new outbreak i don't know whether it was brought with this covid 19 injection especially particularly this 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 app When you are in your 40 and you find yourself mingling in such kind of mess, you have a problem. You could be negotiating, negotiating and having a back and forth with a mentally ill person. In my mother tongue, it's not that every, every person walking naked on the street is a mad person. Mental illness is true and real. We have people on this app who are bipolar. We have people on this app who are uh, struggling with um, all types of mental illness. And you can see it from how they behave, from how they manipulate people, from how they come from one end to the other, from the other end to the other. Then you are like, hello, excuse me, where is the consistency? Where is the consistency? Just take this one home. You do not know anybody you've met on this app you know yourself misery loves company keep your distance draw your boundary don't allow yourself to be used don't be a doormat use your bundles wisely how do you normally feel when you go to those apps how do you feel when you go on social media and find negative things you come out of that place feeling negative and empty. Nothing inspired you. Nothing built you. Nothing changed your life. Even one minute. You suppressed your dopamine. Dopamine is the hormone in charge of happiness. And that's why I work out in the morning. The dopamine in my body right now is what is making me glow. Look, I've not even oiled my skin. Here. Look at my skin. Dopamine is also in charge of your, <coughs> your looks, how you look, how you feel. How do I feel? I feel beautiful. I feel happy. I feel energetic. I feel positive. Because that is what I walk up to. I walk up to positive energy, positivity. And remember I told you before, you can never pour from an empty cup never you have love you pour love you have hate you pour negativity so as we end this live because i have some other things to do just take this one home never compare yourself with someone you met on social media you know yourself better you know where you are you are doing much more better than the person you're comparing yourself with nobody is sharing their failures everybody is busy sharing their success for validation appreciation likes and comments to kopamoja just know that i esther akot kokeo loves you see you tomorrow same time same place i love you and take care bye bye
if this love if if this life touched you in one way or the other where are my roses give me my flowers when i'm still alive give it to me if this life touched you in one way or the other give me my flowers while i'm still alive send me some love hearts let me see how many were inspired this morning let me see if you learned something this morning let me see if something changed in you this morning let me see if i touched you in one way or the other you see instantly i realized i can't even show off my body like i used to do it i don't know whether it came with age or i just realized thank you very much thank you my darling thank you thank you for the love hearts thank you very much Thank you. Mwah. Who is this who just sent me money gun? Thank you very much, my darling. I love you. Oh, love from Uganda. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, just send me love hearts. It's okay. Just love hearts. Sorry. When I say Rosa, I say, give me my flowers when I'm still alive. Thank you very much. Evelyn says, thank you very much for the motivation this morning. If you learned something, I am so happy. Can you just type what you've learned? Don't misuse your data bundle. Make sure it inspires you. Don't give us viewers for nothing. Baba, Barba, ba Barbara, how are you? Don't give up. We have imagine if I if I lost my life when I was thrown out of my first marriage. And I've promised you I will still stay in marriage. Because marriage <coughs> sorry. It's a commitment. Someone says I love the way you do your things. Yeah, someone says I should not, should not compare yourself with someone you, you've met online. Great, because comparison is a thief of joy. Someone says I've learned from you. Pressure your media, yeah. Be positive always. Thank you. Don't accept negativity. Throw it away. Comparison is a thief of joy. It does. That is the reality. Don't pick fights with people. Those who are driving Helter Skelter, don't pick fights with people. People lost their minds, especially during COVID. So many mental cases were identified. You could find someone just hooting all over the place. Take calm. I normally tell my drivers, you are driving four cars. You are driving this car. You are driving the car in front of you, the one behind you, and the one overtaking. Prioritize yourself. You are your best friend. You don't want to hurt your best friend. Don't let anyone steal your joy. Don't allow anybody suppress your dopamine. You need the happy hormones. Mm -mm. Dopamine is what is working all over my skin. Thank you very much. Someone is welcoming me to, to, to Tanzania. I will, I'm gonna come. So we'll be having these teachings every morning after our workout. And I would like you to work out with me. Please choose a struggle. Just choose one struggle, my darling. Even start with just skipping the rope. Just skipping the rope that one so that you can be lighter thank you very much anybody who is competing has la has low self-esteem and you're gonna learn that one this evening I was about to blast the guy who stole my ten thousand dollars but Nelly Ox told me not to because he said that one is going to bring some negativity we don't need. He texted me a long text. He said, we lost the money. Let it be. 
that's been like, that's been like four years ago he said Nelly York sent me a long message and I, I can never I told you the only person the only person that can advise me about this brand is Nelly Ox, my baby. This is my baby. He sent me this text. Hey, babe, just thought about your situation and I woke up to these thoughts. Your fans may indeed engage with negative topics, but they also deeply respect and admire your strength and positivity. By sharing stories of overcoming adversity without restoring to negativity, you will likely gain even more admiration. Let's focus on the future, turning this into a stepping stone for greater success and abundance. Let the guy keep the money. He needed it. That's my baby. That's the man I'm living with. And if he tells me so, I can't pass it. I take Neliox. You know, at times you also need to be guided. We are human beings. I just wanted to share the story so that you guys can understand the things I've gone through off cameras. But when Neliox says no, Just a reminder, main focus and your inner most strength you always have is turning negative in your life to positive. I'm here to support every step of the way. I love you. I love you too, baby. Thank you, my love. May God bless you. I hear you. Let's focus. Again, come to think of it. Why do fans love to hear negative comments he answered because negative news negative publicity sells and misery loves company those are the things I speak with my man sour sour two different worlds Somebody will be like, yes, 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 Anika him, Anika him. The manager is like, the guy needed the money, $10,000. Let him keep it. So, Nikama, one of my orphans, Memli Pia Shule. Uh, someone says, next topic, let us talk about how to make money. We are coming. We are going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I love him so much. Guys, have a good day. Take care of yourself. God bless you. Misery loves company. I want to now check on my family in the morning. Then I check on my businesses. Then I start moving. Have a lovely day. Bye.